hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to show you how you can download and install uh, mysql in a windows pc as you know uh, mysql is an open source relational database managed system and it's uh, free of cost and you can install and use it and uh, free of cost okay you don't want to pay uh, anywhere okay so yes let's go for uh, checking how we can install download and install step by step process in your windows pc so for demonstration in my uh, my pc is a windows 10 pc so this is enough uh, for installing mysql you can download uh, the installer file from uh, the official mysql website the mysql website is uh, www.mysql.com or you can just google uh, as uh, mysql.com okay and uh, yeah just go let's go to the website mysql.com so uh, in the download section uh, you can go to uh, there are many tabs here so just go to uh, windows and in the windows page as you can see uh, there is an option to get your mysql installed okay so this is what we need uh, to get uh, your mysql installed just click on mysql installer so once you click that it will take you to this page uh, where you can see uh, the we can ha we have the mysql download installer option and downside you can uh, directly download uh, in two methods like there is a web uh, installer web and uh, di direct mysql installer so the difference between these two is uh, this is actually like once you download it you will have to connect to internet to get uh, the files from internet okay so this one is actually uh, the offline version so you can go either uh, either of either one because the both is same but this one is uh, uh, actually an online installer because once you start installing uh, you will have to connect to internet so now we are going to download this uh, this one the, it's actually mysql installer community it's offline installer and it's of 230 mb okay and just click on download and uh, wait for your download to be started and you can see it's asking to sign up uh, sign up in mysql account so we don't want uh, just click on not thanks just start my download so once you click it it will start downloading as i told it's of 230 mb so wait for uh, your file to be downloaded okay the installer has been downloaded so this is the file it's of almost 230 mb okay now let's uh, open this and start installing okay now just double click or just uh, right click and select install and uh, the installer will start like this and wait for further steps okay yes uh, uh, so the install has been started so it will ask for the user account control uh, access privilege so just click yes and this is the first screen where uh, you will get on installation now just click on accept license agreement and click next and it will ask for what what type of uh, mysql you want to install so there are many options to select uh, what type of uh, mysql you are going to install so we can have uh, uh, developer version the server version so i am going to uh, select the server only because once you select server only uh, the only the mysql will be installed so only what we need is the mysql there are plenty of add-ons here if you are just uh, selecting custom and go next you can see all other options are the, these are our add-ons which we need uh, for the primary mysql okay so i am going to select uh, the server only now just click next and we are going to install mysql server 8.0.11 now just click on execute so once you click on execute it will start installing yes it's showing the progress and it's a quick uh, one just wait for that let me complete it now the next step is the product configuration just click on next and uh, yes it's ready to configure just click on next again so yeah we are going to install the standard on mysql server just click on next and uh, the default port number is 3306 now we are not going to any change anything here let it all uh, be the default click next and uh, yes it's asking for the pass use a strong password encryption for the indication yes we are going to set a password for our uh, mysql just click on next and we had to we can put the root password here okay so i'm the putting the root password as root itself r o o t r o o t r o o t okay so it's saying it's weak uh can we can we go further if i'm just clicking this yeah we can go further 
so configure uh, mysql server on windows server yes we are going to configure and uh, start the mysql server a windows startup okay it will start mysql server automatically the service name we can uh, we are putting it at default as mysql 80 and uh, other thing are like standard uh, system use yeah uh, make our uh, our mysql service as a, a administrative one so uh, it will be uh, the default ones as standard now click on next and uh, we are not going to get any additional plugin okay just click on next now just click on execute to install your mysql completely okay now just cl click on execute it's getting installed just wait for that okay steps has been completed successfully without any uh, error message and uh, the final message is coming here the configuration of mysql server was successful and click finish to continue okay so once you click finish you can uh, have uh, uh, the screen back of your, your installer screen back so it's done so now you can click next and uh, yes it's finished you can ha uh, get the logs of your uh, installation so we are not going to check this just click on finish yes as you can see there is uh, it's done uh, completely now to open the mysql just click on uh, start and just search for mysql mm, no in the start menu itself we can see i think yeah here is it in the recently added section you can see the mysql command line okay now there is a uh, two option here it's a unicode version we are not going to check that so this is the one which we need the mysql 8 command line client just click on that and it will ask for your root password as you as i have shown you we put the password as root just click enter yes you can see we have successfully ended in mysql so if i'm just uh, selecting a short databases command enter in short database command can see all the database available i'm going to create a new database here create database uh, test 001 okay i'm just putting it as test 001 you can to have to put the semicolon okay so it's done the uh, new database has been created now if i am just uh, selecting show database i can see the test 001 is there okay so this is how you can install the mysql 8 uh, uh, in your windows pc I have shown you the step by step process for, from where you can start and which uh, uh, one this is the basic mysql one so if you want to add uh, more add-ons in this one you have to uh, select in the installation i mean uh, in the custom installation you have to select what all the things you need so if you need the mysql or uh, only the mysql database you can have uh, uh, the server only option and uh, this is the one which we can uh, use for your web application uh, whatever it is your php uh, your uh, java or any uh, program la languages you can use the this same mysql okay hope you got this if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share uh, the link for downloading uh, the installation of files in my description you can have it and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching